It's Alapa. Uh, Alapa's the Gaelic, but Alba's the ancient name for Scotland, the kingdom of Alba. But you're quite correct, uh, the Gaelic pronunciation is Alapa. Uh, so uh, we'll be campaigning for the Alapa and the Alba party, and we're, we're hoping to get a lot of votes straight across Scotland. Incidentally, now, uh, uh, I know that many... because I took part in the launch of a, of a, a, a fishing uh, it's research vessel called Alapa de Mara. That's how I know it's Alapa. Very good. Um, now, how many women do you think are going to vote for you after all the, the revelations of the last couple of years? Well, a, a very substantial number, as you'll see from a list of candidates when we announce it over the weekend, and you'll see some uh, surprises coming your way. You see, most people, most reasonable people, fair-minded people, accept uh, the verdict of a jury. That is the innocent verdict of a jury. And with uh, two judges, two court cases, one jury, free investigations and the verdict in, most fair-minded people in Scotland accept the results of that. But now my political opponents won't do that, but then of course they are panicking because uh, we're about to take their, their votes and their seats. But the most important thing is that Alapa will be building votes and seats for independence for Scotland. Of course, it's quite true that you were acquitted in the trial. But during the course of this, of course, it was revealed about your inappropriate sexual behaviour. Your own lawyer referred to you behaving badly, inappropriately. He referred to you as a sex pest and a bully at, at one point. So uh, this I'm is sorry, different uh, now, isn't Christian, it, when you're facing the court of public opinion? Yeah, and I'm facing the court of public opinion, but really, if you're going to make allegations like that, you better get your facts right. That is not true. That did not happen at the trial. Have a, a look at your Which bit? researchers for Channel 4 and ask them the questions. The, our defence was the complaints against me were either exaggerations or fabrications, and the important point was that a jury, having heard all of the evidence, acquitted me on all charges. And as I say... Most fair-minded people will accept that. And, you know, after the, the two uh, court cases, because we won in the highest civil court in Scotland as well as the highest criminal court in Scotland, two judges, a jury and three investigations, that most people in Scotland think it's time to move on. And I certainly want to move on to the issues that matter to men and women in Scotland. And that's what Alapa is going to do. And you'll see by the support that we rally behind us that the vast majority of people will we'll share that opinion. The one thing I can say about Alipa's campaign is that we'll be positive and contribute to a positive political debate. You won't hear a word out of any Alba or Alipa car party candidate, anything negative about Scotland. We're not even bothered about our political opponents. We're interested in building a super majority for independence in the Scots Parliament. We have the opportunity to do it and we're determined to seize it. Yeah, I mean, and, and that's fine. We'll get on to the specifics, but there is still a question over whether you're going to apologise to the women concerned. And your lawyer did refer to your behaviour as bad and inappropriate. He was overheard on a train referring to you as a, as a sex well, pest. Nothing I said there was untrue. So, I mean, th this is going to well, that... face you on the doorstep. When people... When you knock on a door and, and talk to people, they're going to ask you about this stuff. So what's your answer to, are you sorry to those women? But as you should know, Christian, uh, the Gordon Jackson put out a statement denying that he'd ever regarded me as any such thing. So let's have a fair report. But, you know, look, media, political opponents, fair-minded people in Scotland respect the verdict of a jury. So if you've got a beef with it, then take it up with the jury. Most of us want to move on to talking about constructively about Scotland's future. OK, so you're not sorry, but let's talk about working constructively. If you get into the Scottish Parliament, are you going to vote for Nicola Sturgeon to be the First Minister? Well, given that we support independence for Scotland, it's highly likely that we'll uh, support the candidate who wins uh, the most seats on that platform. That's what uh, Alba Alapa is de designed to do, to further the cause of independence for Scotland. Uh, remember, these are two different things. I mean, I became First Minister of Scotland, and I think, if I remember correctly, 49 votes out of two, 129 uh, in the Scots Parliament, because I had more than any of the others. But it looks like the SNP will sweep the boards on the constituency section of the, of the Scottish Parliament. I welcome that. But it also looks certain, or very likely, let's put it that way, that despite garring a million votes, potentially, on the list, the regional list section, they won't get a single seat 
Now, that is the opportunity. That's potentially a million wasted that, independence true. votes. Why do you say that? And Alba, Alapa can fill that, because that was the salvation poll of yesterday, which had the SNP on 39% in the regional list. And the projection was they would not get a single regional list seat because they were getting 67 seats on the constituency section. That's how the proportional system works in the Scots Parliament and gives uh, Alapa uh, an opportunity to fill that void in the independence cause. But what's the political difference between you and the SNP? What do you disagree with Nicola Sturgeon on? Well, uh, in terms of the independence construction, I think it is this, that I think it's not the best idea to present independence as the Prime Minister against the First Minister, because it allows the, the Tory party to say this is an SNP obsession, it's something that only the SNP puts forward. I think it would be immeasurably stronger a position to include the Parliament and the forces supporting independence in the Parliament in the independence case and the independence negotiations, because then you place Boris Johnson in the position of not taking on a single political party, the SNP, we're taking on a parliament representing the people of Scotland, and I think you'll find that a much more difficult and a much more uncomfortable position, Apart and one, from the one that's Salmon difficult party. to say no to. Well, the, if there's the, well, the difference would be if there's that supermajority in the Scottish Parliament. Listen, I would have loved between, for example, the years 2007 and, politically, and 2011, what's the political difference been between able you and to the negotiate. To, well, I, I, I was going to tell you why I would have loved in 2007-2011 to have a, a secure position in the Parliament as I was negotiating with Westminster. I know how important that is, and it really is important. Uh, there are a number of differences in terms of policy emphasis. We have a policy conference in uh, Alapa, which will be developed uh, a week, a week tomorrow, a week on Saturday, with our candidates. We've got a qualities paper going to that conference. We've got an economic reconstruction paper. These are ideas that we want to contribute to rebuilding our economy from COVID, but also to contribute to the independence debate. But everything we do in this campaign, and this is an absolute pledge, every single thing we do will be put forward in a positive, constructive manner because reasonable people in Scotland, fair-minded people in Scotland, uh, are waiting for that message and waiting for that attitude to politics. It doesn't look positive and constructive. It looks like revenge. And like you're out to get Nicola Sturgeon because you won't say that you support her individually, personally. Well, I, I'm very happy to say that not only am I prepared to say if I was in governed constituency, I'd be voting for uh, Nicola Sturgeon on the constituency ballot as the independent supporting MSP, but I'm happy to say that Alba, Alapa, will be supporting. SNP, MSPs across Scotland in the constituency ballot. Indeed, I, I said it at the press conference. So far from being destructive of the SNP, we're trying to boost their chances, do our modest best to boost them on the constituency ballot. All we're trying to do is to win more seats for independence on the regional list ballot. Now, I don't think we'll get a reciprocal endorsement from the SNP for the regional list, but nonetheless, you can hardly say that we're not giving them the, a fair wind to win as many constituencies as they possibly can, because there's two elements to the supermajority, SNP success on the constituency ballot and some success for Alba and perhaps other parties on the regional list ballot, all supporting Scottish independence.